I need to play some GTA. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> so we are currently playing StarCraft. Uh, Meth Lab is a place where meth is created. Um, and also, coincidentally, he is a person who plays StarCraft, which is always good when we talk about, you know, StarCraft game, that we talk about people who play it and not just random, I don't know, uh, illegal mm, activities. So, well, we, the minerals kind of look like ice, and ice is a straight name for meth, amphetamine. That's true. Um, yeah, well, there I'm you not, go. I'm not entirely sure ice looks blue. Well, my job here is done. So, on the top right we have the Zerg player, Vacumo, probably the next GSL player, he's Code S, top level. And on the left we have the Terran Meth Lab, where meth is created. That's so it looks like we got a fast expand is going to happen for Zerg, which is pretty normal. No shenanigans happening here. Although, uh, but how do you know? Well, he, he would have... There's, he hasn't made anything, he has to... It's going to be a 15 hatch. Well, there you we go. Say, he, he said that when he was at, tw he was at 12. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm not well, quite sure you can predict whether it's going to be a, a 15 hatch at 12. So. Well, I predicted it, and it happened, so... There we go. Because there was no other way you'd know. Eat your words. I will. I pretty tasty. So, Zerg going to the wrong direction. Well, he's also going the correct direction too. Yeah, well, it's pretty smart. SCV managed, Terran managed to get there. First, first scout uh, sees there's no gas yet, so he wants to stick around to see what time the gas gets there. Then he'll know approximately whether what, like, around what time speed will happen. Uh, basically you want to see, you kind of want to see when the gas is taken. Just so you have that reassurance of whether some early speed's happening or... If... Oh, we've got a bit of pressure coming on. Meth lab oh. is putting down a bunker, uh, and help. Uh, we already have the first marine on its way. Yeah, this could... I feel this bunker's a little bit too late though. Uh, this... I mean, this hatch is going to get up. Um, spawning pool's nearly finished. Uh, I feel like, I guess it's okay to get some pressure out, maybe we can force some more lings out, uh, more like lings saying what's the take. I feel like he could have um, put in a better position, just down to, just to the right, he might have been able to part, yeah. do a partial wall off. That is true. Uh, well, here we go, we might, one drone's actually going to die. Oh, okay. uh, well, that's, that's alright, I mean. Well, he should be, uh, he should be coming out with his marine, and putting a bit of pressure on this, um, spine core. Yeah, he should. Um, um not deciding to do that, just out of the I think he's, because it's so close to the ramp, uh, Lings might just randomly come down. Ah, uh, the Queen's out. He's gonna be fine against it, he's not gonna lose much more. Um, if he does, it's, so he made a serious mistake, but, uh, as soon as the Spine comes out, he's just gonna come in with the Queen's, move the Spine, he's just gonna kill it. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bit of pressure. He's made, I mean, he's got more lings than he actually wants to at this time, I feel. Uh, and he's collecting gas, but he hasn't got speed yet. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely kind of, like, kind of ruined his build, whatever he was planning. Just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we did see a uh, drone actually right there. What do you think that's for? So what was The drone. Uh, well, the drone actually went down. Mm -hmm. Well, the hatchery is actually a third of the health. Uh, I mean, like, depending on when he attacks, he might be able to put some pressure on that. He might die uh, quite faster than normal since it's already low in health. That's true. And we see, we see that Terran has actually skyrocketed past past the Zerg in terms of um, SCP count, uh, yeah, which is uh, always very good for um, Terran, the Zerg should never be up and behind. Well, that's, that's the, he's made more links than he wants, he's had to make two spine crawlers, he's got 
He's got like all those like those things. Could have made a couple more drones. You know, three more drones. Mm. Uh, I mean, he's lost two drones already. Uh, making spine crawlers. So he lost the drone to the actual marine as well. So I not. Like uh, I feel like start. these two, um, having two queens out at this point in time, when you've lost quite a bit, which is a bit unnecessary. Um, he really should have had. He really should have been trying to use that for uh, his economy first. Um, yeah. He doesn't uh, really need to be in the safety because he's already got the two spine crawlers. I guess the one thing about these queens is that you can get your. He's going to get his creep out pretty fast, and um, yeah, that's always good for Zoe to have that creep out. Uh, you'll be able to sp your, your units will be able to spot things faster. You'll be able to run faster. You know, creep is generally a good thing. But yeah, like two queens. He got these queens out very early to deal with that bunker, and that might have been an overreaction. That's certainly, um, certainly the idea to try and get those uh, marines out of there. It might have taken the best, uh, best out of him. Uh, however, we can see that he's going getting back into a, a nice smooth economy. Yeah, Macri Hatch on the way, plus one melee on the way, Lair on the way. What do you think he's going for? Um, uh, considering he's got this uh, melee um, upgrade, I feel like he's going to be getting some muters out. Yeah. Um, he'll need to get some some drones in those guy in those geysers. Uh, I feel like he needs to take a third first before getting the spire. Oh, he's going for. Double Evo. So he wants this to be in a fairly longer game. I mean, he's not planning on attacking anytime soon. He's got his third just planted. Creep spreads going pretty well, actually. Um, Terran quite should, good. Terran should be uh, keep, keeping some tabs on this. Well, yeah, Terran needs. Uh, what Terran needs to be doing is he needs to push out. I think he'll push out as soon as the medevacs are. Usually Terrans push out when the medevacs are done so they can quickly lift off uh, if it gets a bit too heated. That's Otherwise, true. there's no escape route. Um, but yeah, I feel I think as soon as the medevacs are out, you might go for something. If not, that'll be a bit strange. Widow Mine's taking out all those links. That's, that's a nice pickup for uh, for Terran. Uh, having those scouting links means well, he'll, that Zerg will have to force a couple more out. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's not always a good thing. With that being said, uh, Zerg has caught up. Uh, he's done very well with his drone production. 61 drones, or uh, 60 drones now. Uh, I, to feel, I feel like that's part, that could be partially because, or mostly because, uh, Terran hasn't put any pressure on. Um, mm. And that, that lack of pressure certainly hasn't helped. Oh, there's um, pressure coming now. There we go. There's a little push happening. Uh, Zerg does not actually have a lot to deal with this right now. Uh, 30 links on the way. Bailing speed, burrow. That might do well, but it just depends how much he loses before his links pop out. He needs to be careful, these widow mines can kill a lot of links. Oh no, looks like that overlord might be taking it up yet. Widow mines are putting a bit of new stuff on the overlord. Yeah, uh. Oh, here come the links, they might come down. Oh, Stins, he needs to get into a good position here. Oh, this Bailings. Bailings is actually doing quite well. That was actually uh, quite good for Zerg. Um, although he has lost... I mean, he didn't lose the base yet. Although it looks like he might, which is actually not too good. Uh, he's targeting that down. He's going to lose this base. Zerg do not want to lose that base. Yeah. Uh, and now he, because he's got a, he's got a spire now, but he can't actually afford to make meters. Uh, those might still be a bit of a pain. Uh, do we have yeah. a? Uh, I think we we heard an overseer coming. Yeah, one on the way. But what you want to do with these widow mine pushes, you want to have meters, uh, as well as bandits. Uh, meters kind of help. Uh, they can pick off widow mines. And that's a, that's a lot of widow mines. Oh, and that's a lot of damage by those widow mines. He should, yeah. not have had, he should not have kept his army there. So yeah, well, I think Terran is gonna go up for another push very soon. He's got his third happening. He's got a few more Widow Mines on the way. Drilling Claws, which will actually help a lot with the push. Plus two on the way. Yeah, Zerg is a little bit behind. He's technically only on two base. Uh, long distance mining. 
No, he's, Another... got a, he's got his spire up, however, he's not producing any muters out of it. Yeah, he does have adequate gas now. He could be making some muters now, but he isn't, so I'm not too sure what he's planning. Maybe he's a bit on tilt after that first push. That's true, that could, that could certainly be doing quite bad in his, uh, Oh, he's going to be very careful with these, these beamings, uh, these mines. Uh, he's going to be very careful. One move and one wrong move by either side and they can actually lose the game. He's got to be careful. I mean, there's a, rinse, a few beamings. He's got to be careful with the winner mines as well. Oh, oh that's a big that was cool, yeah. Oh, here come the muters. This may help a bit, but he can't have his muters going in by themselves. That's a bit sloppy. I mean, you see him trying to pick up the... He's got to he's got to have the winner, uh, the observer, overseer with his meters. Otherwise, he just he, wasn't, he won't be able to take out these mines. But even before that, he shouldn't be going in without um, with his meters. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh big mine hits, big mine hits. Uh, I don't know how Zerg is going to recover from this. He does, have, he does have another base up, so. That is. Well, it's not the game ender, but it's definitely. I mean, he's definitely way behind. Uh, his meters, no upgrades. One one on his wings. But two two on the bio force already. And three three on the way. Uh, this is very very rough. I feel like Can he should do it wrong though. Considering that we've only got, now uh, that we had the two Evo's changes up very early in the game. Mm. We've only seen one from the, uh, from the Zerg. Um, not a whole lot of them. That is a lot of Bainings. He's, oh. Well, actually cleaning that up, that was not good at all. That was not good at all. That was not good did take a lot for him to get, uh, get that out there. Mm. However, after... There's a very big army worth from the Terran waiting. Yeah, this is this is another push happening. Um, and that the food count is currently 168 to 96. It's not going to be. This isn't. This is going to be the final push. Yeah, so I can't. I can't see how. I mean, he has to go. Have to get a very very cost efficient trade for this for him to hold. Uh, get back in the game. A lot of have an army. Yeah. Have anything in his army. He needs a lot more banelings. Oh, he's making some now. He's just, his economy is suffering. He really is only. He's, but he doesn't have much mining going on. He's he does have, he does have enough bones. He does have enough bones. He just doesn't have. Oh, it's surprising. He's missing out on a couple of um, gas bottles, but It's just not doing it. It's just not doing it. Ah, oh, Zer cannot lose the base. He absolutely cannot lose the base. Oh. That was a little bit painful. That's a good, that's a good mind break from the video. But, um, I think that he shouldn't have gone in just to attack the... Just to attack the... He was a bit hesitant. Uh... I don't think he was trying to do the same thing to death in the video. So, the mind... Or, if I was just after the death, he didn't have an army. So, no, he didn't. Alright. Uh... That's... That's the story as it was. So um, that's a good game by Methlab, and um, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.